So you're interested in probiotics. Come take a look at this. These are bacteria. Any idea how much bacteria actually live inside of your body? There are more bacteria living in your gut than there are people on this earth. An astronomical number, really. Over a hundred trillion bacteria living in your intestines. Fortunately, most of these are good bacteria. They help us digest food, they're involved in the immune system, they fight off bad bugs, and there are no shortage of bad bugs. We're loaded with them in certain situations. They can overtake the good bacteria, even kill them, cause problems with our digestion of food, and this is one of the most common causes of illness in the world. Fortunately, in healthy people, there's a balance between these good bugs and bad bugs. Usually about 85% good and 15% bad. Unfortunately, there are things that can throw these bugs off. Let's take a look. Okay, here we are in my intestines. You see the good bacteria, the ones that are light color. They help me digest food. They're part of my immune system. Do all kinds of good things. Then there are the bad bacteria, the curly red ones here. Now let's say I was suffering from stress, or I got ill, or I took some antibiotics for whatever reason, you notice that the good bacteria, the population is dropping, and the bad bacteria start to increase in numbers. After a while, the whole balance is thrown off, and I might feel sick, or have cramps, or diarrhea. My immune system isn't going to work well. Obviously, none of these are good things. Fortunately, I can fix this problem. I can take a probiotic. And the usefulness of taking a probiotic has been very well established. Studies from Harvard show probiotics can help us far beyond the digestive system. That's in the immune system, promoting feminine hygiene, strengthening the urinary tract, even helping our dental health. Let's see what the rest of the scientific and medical community have to say about probiotics. Let's see how many actual articles are published in recognized medical journals. Probiotics and constipation, 117 articles. Probiotics and diarrhea, 849 articles. Let's look at probiotics in the immune system. Wow, there's almost a thousand published clinical trials. So what exactly is a probiotic? Take a probiotic, you're actually swallowing cultures of the good bacteria. So a probiotic containing these good bacteria actually seed your intestines so that the population of the good bacteria normalizes. How can we make this strategy even more effective? We can take a prebiotic. Not only does a prebiotic supply nourishment for the probiotic, it even adjusts the intestinal environment to make it friendlier for the good bacteria. Let's take this seeding analogy one step further. Let's say we wanted to get some grass seeds to make our front lawn look better. We could go to the garden store and get a bag of quality grass seeds. Or we can get a bag of seeds that also contain all the nutrition that the seeds would need to grow well. That nutrition is the prebiotic portion. Which bag would you choose to take home? Finally, we're going to look at one more word, symbiotic. What is a symbiotic? A symbiotic is simply a probiotic and a prebiotic combined, which is much more effective than a probiotic alone. Good health is intimately related to good digestion and a healthy colon. Probiotics prebiotics, symbiotics, this is important for everyone. So until next time, to health. Immunitex Probiotic with Cranberry, a symbiotic formulation with the added benefit of antioxidant protection. Daily use can help absorb vitamins and minerals, naturally cleanse your intestinal tract, ease urinary problems, assist and regulate bowel function, 
may help with lactose intolerance.